make something different, but I think the video I wanted to make, I want to do tomorrow. So look out for that video, but tonight, kind of a more simple, easier video, at least for myself, and maybe if you're a fan of the NFL football scene, you'll like this too, because tonight we're talking NFL, we're talking, I guess, a uh, look at the top teams of next season, which starts, I think, in like a couple weeks, the NFL season does, which I'm pretty excited about, make sure you do like tonight's video, if you do like the video, liking the video helps out the video so, so much, and YouTube's algorithm, all that fun. YouTube mumble jumbo and also lets me know that you enjoy the content. Comment down below maybe if you're a fan of the NFL who you think is going to be the number one team in the NFL next season or you think is going to be the Super Bowl champions. Let me know. Definitely. And yeah, let's get started. Started, 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 started. Okay, 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 okay. I am currently right now looking at the power rankings for the 2023-2024 NFL season, or wait, yeah, it would be, yeah, because I, I, I'm trying to remember <laughs> when the NFL season stopped, and it stops in the year 2024, so yeah, it would be that season, wow, that's so crazy to think about, 2024, anyways, we are looking here, at the bottom of the barrel of the NFL season, according to the experts, the people get paid the big bucks to do this stuff, and, in dead last, the very last team projected the worst team. NFL are projected to be the, the, the Arizona Cardinals. The Arizona Cardinals are, are looking like they're going to be the worst team in, in, in football. Well, again, you can let me know in the comments if, if you necessarily believe that. I wouldn't say I don't or do, but it's definitely an interesting topic, I can't, a topic at hand. It says here there's they're not sure when Kyler Murray will return from their A or yeah from their ACL surgery which could be pretty bad. He said that back in late July. He doesn't know when he is going to be back. But knowing the Arizona Cardinals and I guess their ranking, they're probably going to be pretty bad. So they're probably not going to be rushing Kyler Murray back anytime soon. Kind of sad to think about because I mean they were a pretty competent team not that long ago and now and that changes fast. And 31st place, second to last, which I probably would still say, would, in my opinion, would maybe be the worst team in the NFL. The, the Houston Texans in 31st place, which is kind of interesting. They have C.J. Shroud on their team now to start the, the, the quarterback job now. And, you know, I'm very always excited to see uh, a, a young quarterback with a lot of high upside, a lot of promise to see what they can do. Seems like there's like a whole new surge of NFL quarterbacks in the league right now, which is really fun to watch. A lot of players that could turn out to be some of the new greats that we think about. Obviously, the era of, you know, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees is well, almost even Aaron Rodgers is gone. And now we need a new generation. It seems like there are a lot of great young quarterbacks now that are kind of uh, carrying that torch. I mean, the, uh, of course, the torch bear right now is Patrick Mahomes, but there's a lot of other great ones that are still sort of in that youngish timeline. And then there's this newer-ish, even, generation of like guys like Cena Shroud and whatnot. I'm excited to see what happens with them. 30th, whoa. 30th, you have the Chicago Bears. Now, I, mean, I, I am a Justin Fields fan. I feel like he's definitely pretty underrated in the NFL still to this day. Of course, you just need to upgrade his his weaponry, you know, his repertoire, his, his offensive game, yeah, in order to really let him shine and definitely take advantage of his own skill set and 30th for the Bears I feel like it's kind of low 29th we have the Tennessee Titans that's a team I definitely would put under them no offense to the Tennessee Titans um it says here this is the one ranking I regret most of the previews oh wow they actually regret this one maybe because they're too low in this guy's eyes whoever made these rankings I'm not entirely sure Oh, I actually didn't know that they got DeAndre Hopkins, though. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's pretty good, actually. Okay, 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 okay. They should probably be around this range, maybe a little higher. Oh. And at 28th, 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 we have the Los Angeles Rams. Yes, the football team that I guess a lot of you would say is my number one team, the team that I support the most. If you guys are really watchers of the channel, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of the NFL and teams in general. I do like the LA teams. I like, you know, the Rams. 
Rams, uh, the Chargers, I like, you know, the, the, the Angels, I like the Lakers, blah, 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 I'm a big fan of the LA teams and all the sports, and, you know, it was fun to watch them win that championship, that Super Bowl not that long ago, they won it in their hometown in LA, which is really cool, my dad was super excited to watch, you know, a, a sort of a home team win for him, I think that was really cool, and, you know, they, they are just in a weird spot right now, they definitely sold their soul to win that one Super Bowl, which I think was worth it, I mean, you, you, you sell everything to win a Super Bowl, especially in the NFL, where it's very hard to win it, you, I mean, unless you're, of course, you know, Tom Brady and the Patriots, it's very hard to win it, and win it in multiple seasons, and they're just in a spot right now where they're just in a weird, lim in, in a weird limbo, where they're eventually going to be really bad for a couple years, and they're going to get some draft capital, hopefully, whenever they do get their draft picks available, because they traded them all away, but they're going to suck. Seventh, we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, of course, again without having Tom Brady there. But it says here, looks like Baker Mayfield looks like the favorite to win out the starting quarterback position. That is pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie, but um, with a team that, again, just like we talked about, a, a Super Bowl contender selling everything to try to win, they tried it all, and uh, now they are back to square one. And that square one is going to be square one for quite, 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 quite some time. 26, we have the Indianapolis Colts. Not only really sure what's really going on over there in Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana. Not really entirely sure. 26, yeah, not too bad. I remember a couple years ago, they were kind of in that contention for the wild card spot. And I'm not too sure if that's sort of still where that position they are right now. It doesn't really look like it, though. At 25, we have the Washington Commanders, which... Yeah, another team that was always almost there, always almost there, and then, you know, I think they made the playoffs not that long ago, if I can really remember. Again, I'm trying really hard here in this video. Really gotta muster up some of my NFL knowledge, which really isn't all that much, but interesting. You know, I've seen a couple be uh, a couple different reports of the Washington Commanders being somewhere from, like, again, 25, low 20s, to being somewhere even in, like, the low teens of, like, 19, 20, which... I guess that's not a big gap of like five spots here and there. That's too crazy. But, you know, are they a team that can, you know, go for the wild card? Oh, man, that's a big ask. Being completely honest with a team that has a, a newer face at quarterback, too. Oh, at 24, we have the Las Vegas Raiders. Raiders, Raiders, Raiders. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I've, I've, I've also kind of stated that I wasn't the biggest fan of the Raiders getting Jimmy Garoppolo as their new starting quarterback. Um pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie. I was really hoping that they really could have gotten maybe someone, you know, in this free agency trade bus. They really passed up on a lot of, well, they didn't pass up a lot of quarterbacks, sort of passed over them at the opportunity to play with them or for them. I'm not sure they really went after guys like Aaron Rodgers or trying to make trades for other guys who were available at one point in time. And, and I don't think, you know, Jimmy Garoppolo is really uh, what they were looking for to be completely honest, but I still think they are capable a fun team of the Raiders who doesn't like the cool silver and black logo of the, of the Raiders. Um, Carolina Panthers are 23rd with Bryce Young naming as their starter. Really excited to see this new number one overall pick make their debut. Yes sir, yes sir. I mean there's obviously going to be some growing pains and I'm not really entirely sure about the receiving team and the offensive line that the Carolina Panthers have. You can let me know down in the comments how well they were ranked for their own line and things like that, but with a young quarterback, it's always super important to protect him as much as you possibly can to give him enough confidence in order to make good plays and good decisions. If that O-line of the Carolina Panthers are struggling the entire year is not getting any sort of mo uh, motivation and sort of effort into Bryce Young, this could be a very, very, very nasty first year for Bryce Young, but if that O-line can really protect him and really give him enough shine and effort and energy to really let him do his work, it could be quite comp uh, a quite a compelling rookie season because he's probably the highest ranking quarterback we've seen in, in quite some time. I mean, man, even this year's um, NFL draft, if I can remember, there were like a couple, it was like four or five quarterbacks picked in like the f top like 10 picks. It was, it was kind of crazy. Um, number 22, we have the Denver Broncos. Aye, aye, aye. Um, Broncos last season predicted to be Super Bowl contenders. Obviously, that didn't happen. 
defense is still the same defense as they were. Well, kind of. They, they're still a very good defensive team. It kind of just actually does fall in the, the hands of the offense and their new uh, head coach that really struggled last year. Let's see if they can turn the tables a little bit this year. 21, we have the Atlanta Falcons, which I actually did not see being ranked this high. Almost a top 20 team in the NFL. Whoa, I'm, I'm missing a lot for sure, because I remember the Atlanta Falcons being dog duty ever since the 2010s. Like, after the 2010s ended, I remember them not really being that good ever since then. But here they are, which is pretty interesting. Um, it says here, we just don't know yet if Desmond Ryder, Ryder, R-I-D-D-E-R, is a huge upgrade over Marcus Mariota, who started most of last season. So they have a new starting quarterback, which is nice. Marcus Mariota definitely was not the answer. Very sad to, to, to see what happened with him. We could really get a, his legs under him in the NFL. 20th, we have the Green Bay Packers, of course, like I just mentioned, not having Aaron Rodgers anymore. Um, they do have Love. I forget his first name. Their new quarterback that they took, actually, when they still had Aaron Rodgers, sort of kicking him out the door. It seems like getting his replacement. I'm not really entirely sure what else they really have when it comes to other sort of big-time options and young players, but, I mean, still being a top-20 team by trading away your, arguably, your franchise's best player. I mean, that team in Green Bay has always been really good, so it's kind of hard to say that, but, man, that's not bad. I'm not sure if they're going to be again in that sort of wild card hunt, but it seems like they could be. 19th, we have the New England Patriots. It says here that, will the Patriots sign Ezekiel Elliott? Really? That would be quite interesting. I'm not going to lie. The Patriots are a team that's on that fringe little uh, cusp of maybe doing something, maybe doing nothing. I think they're probably going to be doing a little bit of both. I think they're going to be maybe like around a 500 team, maybe a little bit under, but definitely excited to see what they can do. And then they could add Ezekiel Elliott, man. That could be pretty insane. Number 18, we have the New York Giants. Saquon Barkley coming back, accepting a one-year deal with a little bit of incentive money to come to camp and play for the New York Giants again, which is pretty interesting. Oh boy, um, yeah, that's a good spot for them, sort of like a mid-tier-ish team, nothing crazy there. 17th, we have the Minnesota Vikings, whoa. I would even say this is a little bit low for the Vikings. I would maybe put them a little bit, maybe more around 15. Uh, the Vikings did make the playoffs last year, and man, do they have an insane, insane home field advantage, but I'm not sure if they, did they lose anybody, did they sign people they shouldn't have, I'm not really entirely sure why, they are ranked a little bit lower than what I would have expected, but oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, 16th ranked above them are the New Orleans Saints, oh, I don't know if I would say that, but not bad, definitely not bad. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, I would probably still rank the Vikings over them. No offense to any Saints fans. I love the Saints. I think the Saints have a, a coolest colorway in the NFL. Maybe like the black and gold. I think that's super sick <laughs> of a colorway. But oh, that's really tough. Uh, 15th, we have the Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Steelers. Almost right down the middle, halfway into this ranking. Interesting. It says here that George Pickens is making more training camp highlights, just like he did last year. That's pretty cool. It says here that um, uh, it would be a surprise if anyone, if he, it wouldn't surprise anyone if he made a big leap and became the Steelers' true number one receiver this year. Okay, that's a number one receiver on a team. Not too shabby. Really excited to see what the Pittsburgh Steelers can do, for real, for real. Um, let's see here. The 14th ranked team are the Cleveland Browns. Whew. Cleveland Browns, 14th. That is, that is interesting. They did give up a lot to get, um, Deshaun Watson in the trade for Houston. I think it was last year. I think it was with his, it was it the year prior. Not entirely sure, but they did, they did give up a pretty good chunk of what they wanted. But, you know, they still have a, a good low line. They still have Chubb, Amari Cooper, Miles Garrett. Got the pieces to make something. 
Chargers. Yes, the Los Angeles Chargers at 13. Not bad. I think they are. They're, they're a sniff of a top 10 team, I think so. I think anywhere from like, again, like 10. If you really want to squint, maybe like a 9 or like where they are on 13, 15. Nothing too crazy there. Um, it says here that the return of left tackle where Sean Slater is huge for the Chargers. And that's something that for sure that the Chargers had a lot of last year were major injuries and kind of why they kind of bottomed out last year. Didn't really do all that well, but they still, of course, made the playoffs. But, you know, they went up against some very, 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 very tough competition in the playoffs. Kind of unjust, kind of unfair, you could even say. But, uh, man, I think uh, the healthy Chargers are a team that could be very dangerous. Well, it's actually the team they played in the playoffs, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Whoa. That's interesting, the Jaguars. Yeah, nothing too crazy there. It says here that the Jaguars weren't happy to lose, but after the battling of the Kansas City Chiefs and falling it short, it seems like here that they are ready to do something big, whatever that means. I don't think, again, Trevor Lawrence is amazing in that squad they actually have there is pretty capable. I don't think they are ready to, again, take on and battle against the Chiefs or the other Bengals or anyone like that really, but I think they can throw a throw a punch, throw a haymaker, throw in a little bit of a ooh, what could happen sort of storyline. Eleventh, oh I don't know if I'd rank them this high. We have the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah, I would rank Jacksonville and maybe also even the Chargers over Seattle. No offense. And again, uh, they they are technically my home team. Technically, technically my home team. So nothing too crazy there. Um, Seattle at eleven, an almost top ten. Yeah, I just don't really believe that, to be completely honest. They did have a good draft, and they did, obviously, of course, get Geno Smith back, which a lot of people were really worried about in the offseason. Um, but they did resign him for a pretty reasonable contract, and I think they can definitely make some noise. Again, I don't think they're, like, I don't, I, I, would, I, think, I think I would also believe in the Jaguars more, and maybe even the Chargers as well, but nothing too crazy, to be completely honest, but still a little too high for me. Now we're in the top 10 with the Baltimore Ravens rounding off the top 10. Whoa, yeah, I remember when the Ravens a couple years ago. Of course, when Lamar Jackson was more in the NFL MVP talks, were, they were a scary team to face. Like, I, that man, ooh, I remember the year that uh, Lamar Jackson won the MVP was a scary year to face against them, and they couldn't get it done, and then injuries and injuries and blah, blah, blah. Man, they just uh, they couldn't get over that hump, but I think kind of sucks to see them kind of fall a little bit short and short and shorter now it's could be kind of troubling for them a number nine is man maybe the team that has jumped the most over the past handful of seasons just because of how good everywhere else has been for them besides the luck at quarterback number nine the miami dolphins which again do a do a do a do a do a do a i forget how you pronounce his last name ty, ty uh, it's to, uh, uh, of course, with as, as much of health that he's, as he needs, he really, 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 really needs to be watched very carefully because, of course, last year he was under some big controversy of probably playing some NFL football when he shouldn't have. He was easily, very easily looking concussed while playing, and it was just terrible what they kind of did to him, kind of did them a little dirty. And then they also have now have Jalen Ramsey, who used to be on my, one of my favorite teams of the, the LA Rams, number nine. Number eight, we have the New York Jets. They have Aaron Rodgers now. They have some good little weapons around him, so it doesn't really surprise me all that much. They are ranked pretty high. Oh my god, I totally forgot about this team. At number seven, we have the Detroit Lions. Whoa, okay, again, kind of a casual, actually very much a casual, the NFL. When did the Detroit Lions jump from like, okay, they could maybe make the playoffs to an over a top 10 team in the NFL. Wow, that is, that is interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, shout out to my boy, um, Jared Goff, big fan of his, but oh my 
every single year, and I will say it myself, the Dallas Cowboys have the talent to win it all. They have the talent to win the Super Bowl like they have had the talent for the past many seasons. But will they? But will they? But will they? <sighs> Probably not. Yeah, number five, going into the top five. The San Francisco 49ers round out the top five, or I guess start the top five, I should say, and... Yeah, that's a good spot. Again, I was really, really, really hoping for them to upgrade that quarterback position since some quarterbacks seem to be a little bit more available than what things seem to be. But it seems like they're going to be rocking it with Josh Purdy, which is kind of exciting. And, of course, they have, uh, oh, what's his name? The other quarterback that was really, really supposed to be coming up really strong for them. Uh, Trey Lance, that's his name. Uh, they are going to be battling for that quarterback position. And I guess it is kind of nice that they have... Maybe instead of like one true quarterback, they have two really good quarterbacks. And you know what that team, knock on wood, in their previous sort of history of quarterback health, maybe having two good quarterbacks instead of one like really, really, really good quarterback like an Aaron Rodgers or whatever. At number four, Buffalo Bills. Of course, Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen and that team definitely have been coming under some smoke for the past couple of of months because last season they kind of fell a little short and it seems like they are a team that just seems to be running it back and running it back and running it back the same team over and over again and some fans I've seen have kind of kind of tired of it kind of over it and have appraised other teams to be just better than them which could be a possibility but you know I don't want to say this is like the, the Bills last year of the sort of regime that they have right now but man if they if the same thing happens to them and they can't even make it to like the the you know the the conference championship game oh man that could be a really rough sight for the bills I'm not gonna lie and their biggest competition obviously besides the kansas city chiefs of course ranked number three are the, are the cincinnati Bengals, and i think this is perfect for them i think they're almost there not there yet i think they could win it all they could lose in the, in the conference championship game they might not even make it because again the competition that's in that division i mean that conference is, is so tough you know your third, Joe Burrow. Always decided to watch him play. And number two are the Eagles. Yes, the Eagles ranked number two in the entire NFL, the number one team in the NFC. And I agree that it's probably is going to be either the Eagles or the 49ers, or actually it will be either them making this Super Bowl, but it will be those teams facing off against each other for the, the, the chance at the Super Bowl at the NFC Championship game. In, in February, January, whenever those playoff games are being played, I say it's those two teams, and they both, in my opinion, have the best defenses in the NFL. And I love watching Taylor Hurts play. Really cool to see if he's going to go to his uh, MVP this year. We'll have to see. Um, and number one, we have the Kansas City Chiefs. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that Kansas City, the rain that they're on right now, and Patrick Mahomes... Man, he's going to be in that conversation for the GOAT. The GOAT, the GOAT, the GOAT, the GOAT at the end of his career. If it continues on this path, I'll knock on wood for him. It's a big possibility. But um, I can't really say too much about this. The, the Chiefs, we all know they're just the most dominant team in football. And they have been for the past handful of seasons. But will they win the Super Bowl? Jake Baller, ASMR's official Super Bowl winner.